All right, time for another math. Easy solution to discuss polynomial long division. Basically, look in depth, look and prove how you could uh, do this if you've seen it before. Um, and also, this is similar to my uh, long division when when you use basically just uh, just numbers using decimal places and now to divide it wide. So, you see another uh, info on, on the link below. You could click there. Uh, basically, if we look at this example here, x squared minus nine x minus ten, and then uh, divided by x plus one here. This is just polynomial divided by polynomial here, and so in this case, uh, basically I'll show you how to do long division, but first, you could actually just factor this out, there's multiple ways of solving this. So if you factor this one out, you could actually, if you basically write the top one as a form of something, of an x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something else, and in this case, it's just going to be negative 10, and this is plus 1, because well, if you multiply this by this, and similarly this by this and add them up, you can see it equals this one. This would just be x squared plus x and then this is minus 10x minus 10. And then these add up, this is equals to x squared and then this one is negative 9x negative 10. And that's, that's basically what it equals there. So you could factor it out and this would just be x over 10 x plus 1 and then divided by x plus 1 as you see the x plus 1's cancel in this case if x minus 10 here but uh, the problem here is some some uh, not all equations you can factor you know, I'll just write that down here so and also another thing is even if they are easily factored you can't necessarily cancel uh, the, the amount it doesn't always work out this way so now let's look at the long division, the method here. So uh, the first thing you do is you would write that in a form, just a regular uh, division kind of equation if you're used to doing it by hand. Uh, this would just be x squared minus 9x minus 10 here. And then I'll show you why this is, this is true here. So when we look at this function right here, the so first thing you have to do is look at the highest power on, on this side. This is, this is an x, and the highest power in, in this side is x squared, and we see how many times x can go into here. Well, how many times? You have to multiply what uh, to degree of power you have to multiply to get this in here. And in this case, this is going to be x here. So you just put an x here, and then you multiply x by these by these two here. So we're going to get x squared, and then this one's going to be plus one x. And then what we do here, subtract the exact same way as you do for a long division uh, using numbers. This is a very similar way. Then you, if you subtract this one, we're going to these cancel. And we're going to be left with negative 10x. Bring down the negative 10 here. And now we have to divide this out in this case. And in this one here, when we look at this one, how many times can basically the highest power go into this one? Or what number do you have to times it by? And in this case, to get to there, we have to times by negative 10. So negative 10, and then we times this one by both of them and put them right here. So we're going to have negative 10x, negative 10 here. And then we have to subtract the exact same thing here. Now these ones would be perfectly uh, yeah, subtracted, both going to cancel, all these going to be 0. And there's our answer, x minus 10. So x minus 10 is the answer here, and that's what we you could easily do with factoring it out. But uh, this is just to illustrate how this is true. Now we'll see why this works. Yeah, so basically why does this uh, work here? Why does polynomial long division work? Well, to do that we have to just write it as... I'll just show you how to do it. You write it as that same fraction here, um, as a as a rational function, x squared minus 9x minus 10 divided by x plus 1. So if you look at how we did this one, we just have to make it very similar here. And to do that, we, we'll just separate this function so that it equals to x minus x squared minus 9x, x plus 1, and then subtract it by 10x plus 1. We so we divided here just so that we we're gonna now we're gonna have to multiply by x so we get similar x squared and, and an x here just just a similar uh, the number of x that goes from x squared to x so we make it the same order here so we look at this one separately here so we bring it down here here we're basically x squared minus nine x divided by x plus one times the top and bottom by the uh, just the the high the power that you would need so that these be equal that's x. So times by x and x here, we're going to get, in this case, x. We won't multiply on the top. It's just We'll just leave it there. And then this one's going to be x squared plus x here. So it's uh, once again, it's similar to this. We just multiplied this one out. So now 
what we do here, we have to make this top one look like this, and then in order to do that, just so we could cancel. So what we could do here is just x squared minus, you know, we're going to add an x, and then subtract an x. Then just put the 9x back. And then, and then this is just the exact same thing as, as the long division. This is going to be negative 10x. And then this is all divided by x squared plus x. We did this just so that it looks like this one. So this part here looks like this. And then we could just cancel here. This is going to be x. Then if you divide in the bracket, you could do this. x squared plus x. And then this is minus 10x over x squared plus x. So now this cancels. This equals to 1. And now this one here, because we times by x and x, we can just divide by 1 over x, divided by 1 over x. And we're just going to get, we're going to get x 1 minus negative 10 x plus 1. And so this is, this is basically what we're doing in the long division. This is going to equal to x minus 10 x plus 1. And then, uh, yeah, so this is, this is what this part equals, and then when we add, this is what this one equals, but then when we add this one here, we're going to get uh, x minus 10x plus 1, and then subtracted by, I'm going to forget the uh, times by x here, this is going to be times by x. We have an x here, and then, then in this case we're going to get now negative 10x plus 1. Because that's what we just separated the function here. And then when you look at this, so we're at this step basically. We're at this remainder here. What Every time you have a remainder here, it just means that you're going to equal to to whatever this was, whatever you had here. So at this point, or at this step, we have the, the answer is going to equal, or the, the function is equal to x minus 10x minus 10 divided by x plus 1 as the remainder. And this is the remainder here because the other one uh, divided out perfectly, the x. And this is exactly what we have right over here. Because if you could uh, simplify this one, it's going to be x. Because it's the same denominator, x minus 10x. Actually, no, I made a mistake here. This is, uh, yeah, you add the remainder. And the remainder in this case is negative 10, uh, x minus 10. So that's the remainder. And it's the exact same thing here. I just, uh, yeah, you got to fix this one up. Just, this is going to be a... Uh, negative here, or just a plus negative negative ten x plus one. It's just the negatives kind of get confusing, and then so now what we have is these two parts right here, and this is this is the remainder so far. And all we do now is is you, we keep doing the same thing we just did above, but for this case here. So now in in this case right here, when we look at negative ten x minus ten divided by x plus 1 in this case. So now we don't need to, when we look at the highest power on the, on the left and on the, on the top and on the bottom here, it's just x and that's x, so we don't need to times by x here, but we need to times it by negative 10 here so that it looks like it. Remember that whole goal is just to make it look like it so we cancel like we did above here. So when we do that, we just times, by, times the top and bottom by negative 10. And this is exactly what we did in here, in this step, times by negative 10 on both. So as you can see where it's coming from. And now this is going to equal to, well, at the top, we don't times it by it. X negative. We just have to put it there because we can't change the function. So now it's going to be negative 10. And now this is going to negative 10 X, negative 10 here. Now these just cancel. These divide by easily. So we don't need to add and subtract. That's why there's no subtraction here. They just cancel. Yeah, so we don't need to add and subtract here, and these just cancel, and we're left with this. This part's negative 10 here. So now, if we put this all together, we're gonna get um, x squared minus 9x minus 10 over x plus 1 is equal to x minus 10. Yeah, and basically, you can see the steps that we're doing here, how the long division works. It's it's exact same thing as what we're doing here when you expand this out, and then you just make it look like it by timesing by whatever the, the front one is. So we cancel left leftmost all the way to the right. First thing we did with times by x over x, and negative 10 over 10. And that's, yeah, and basically, we're doing that just so we can cancel, and we'll have these negative 10 left. And that's how this long division works.
Well, that's all for today. Uh, you can download these notes on the uh, info below. There's a link right there in the Dropbox link. And yeah, you could also factor if you can. If not, long division the polynomial will work. And, you can, and it's easy uh, to prove why. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned. And um, stay tuned for another mad easy solution.